if you follow like sort of the Asian American history in Hollywood, there are actually more films made in the 80s and 90s that starred Asian people in prominent roles than there are today. Make sure you extend this leg that he has trapped. I'm extending the leg. Hey guys, what's happening? My name is Hoi Wah Ho from Dynasty. Started Dynasty uh, as an MMA jiu-jitsu clothing brand, mainly because I didn't see the products that I wanted uh, on the MMA BJJ market. I wasn't really too interested in wearing designs from these other brands that I felt were not 100% authentic to you know, my culture or to Asian culture in general. Therefore, I felt the need to fill a void in the market and that's how I came up with Dynasty. So I started with karate, did five years of that, got my black belt, jumped from being a karate black belt to you know Olympic style Taekwondo, got my black belt in Taekwondo. Um, I, I kept wanting to learn more. So then I, I eventually I was introduced to Muay Thai kickboxing. So then I started training in that. And then of course, UFC and everything like that. You, you just watch it, you just fall in love with it as a martial artist. Um, then I want to learn grappling as well. I want to know the ground game. So I started learning Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. I, I cross trained in all these styles and, and just fell in love with the sport in general. And that's how I got started in MMA. Uh, I'm, I'm a dedicated martial artist. I'm a hardcore kind of enthusiast hobbyist, but I'm not like a professional fighter, but I do compete just on an amateur level. I only have one amateur MMA fight, which I won by a first round knockout. I've got about maybe four or five years of solid Jiu Jitsu experience. And in terms of Muay Thai uh, kickboxing experience, I've probably had around 10 fights by now, amateur. So I would say like, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm not bad. <laughs> Are they serious? Look who's playing Goju, man. Some white guy. They just had to put a white guy in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, why can't they just let him be who he is? Asian. It's Hollywood, man. Like Tom. You know, as a fellow filmmaker, you know, myself, I make, make films here and there. Um, Asian representation in, in all forms of media is, is something, it's obviously an issue that I hold uh, close to my heart, I would say, because I'm, I'm in the industry and I'm so aware of it. In some ways we've progressed, and then in other ways we've actually kind of went backwards. If you follow, like, sort of the Asian American history in Hollywood. There are actually more films made in the 80s and 90s that starred Asian people in prominent roles than there are today. There's actually a ton of like Japanese American Hollywood actors and a bunch of Chinese American Hollywood actors that were actually more prominent in the 80s and 90s than, than you have now. Well, I'll give you like, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, Robin Show and uh, Kerry, Hiroyuki, Tagawa. If you go further than that, it was like Bruce Lee with his movies. But nowadays, there's actually less roles for Asians. So in some ways, it has gotten better with like recent movies like Crazy Rich Asians and uh, you know John Cho's movie. Searching, I watched that in the theater, searching. But now it's like, okay, now they promote guys like Ken Jeong, for example, uh, that, that, you know, I, in my opinion, you know, it's negative Asian representation. Back in the 80s and 90s, we were getting all kinds of movies with, with Asian plots and Asian stars in them. So has it really gotten better? I don't know, hard to say. I think, I think it's almost even. From an international standpoint, I think from our culture-wise, we're still closing the gap on influencing the world, I guess you could say, on, on if Asian culture is cool or not. I think there, there's, there's gaps there. From you know an Asian uh, American standpoint, I think a lot of people are just coming into terms with their identity. We have more opportunities. We have more time to think about, okay, who are we really? What do we want to do? Uh, what do we want to pursue? Uh, you know, what are we passionate about? So then I think this generation, we're in a good position to actually realize some of those things. I think some of us now have the leeway to go and pursue what we really want to do. If we want to be a filmmaker, if we want to be uh, you know, somebody in the creative industry, if we want to be an actor or a dancer or a singer, or in the case of Dynasty, people that I sponsor who want to be professional MMA fighters and athletes. So I think we have a platform to do it now. So I think now's a good time for us to truly close the gap and realize who we are. And then, and then I think once we've done that, then maybe we can say we've made it.